Um, for this one, it is a polynomial divided by this. We don't want to have some sort of weird quotient rule. We actually don't have one for integrals. But can we divide each piece by x to the fourth? Yes. I'm going to rewrite this as x squared over x to the fourth plus 2x over x to the fourth minus 3 over x to the fourth dx. All right. Next, I am going to simplify each piece. So this becomes x to the negative second. This one becomes 2x to the negative third. And this one becomes negative 3x to the negative fourth <coughs> dx. Now, re remember the dx goes to all of it. You could put parentheses. You don't really have to. It's all one thing. So now I'm not going to put the integral every single time for each one. Once I integrate, I'm going to integrate all of them and just put a plus c at the end. I'm not going to do what I did up here. So add 1 to negative 2, you get what? Negative 1. And then you divide by negative 1. Add 1 to negative 3, and you get negative 2. And divide by the negative 2. Add 1 to negative 4, you get negative 3, and divide by negative 3, plus c. So my answer, well, can I just pull a negative out of all these? Actually, no, never mind, I'm going to leave it. It's going to be, this one's going to be negative 1 over x minus 1 over x squared. And this one's going to be plus 1 over x to the third plus c. There is your answer. You do not have to try to get common denominators. You're good. Be happy. With integrals, we don't have to worry usually about simplifying like derivatives because you're not going to set this equal to 0 like you did derivatives. Yay. Makes you happy. Um, the next one, that's freaky. There's no division property, but watch this. What can I rewrite this as? You can rewrite this as cosine x over, actually, it's sine squared x. Now, next, from there, you can rewrite that as the integral of, isn't that technically going to be a, what's cosine over sine? Isn't that cotangent x and a, what's 1 over sine? Isn't it cosecant x? Now that might confuse you, but do you understand what I did is, this is cosine x over sine x times 1 over sine x. Are you okay with that? I, I spread it out. That's cotangent. That's cosecant. Now, why the heck did I do that? Look at your yellow, yellow sheet. Do you see the derivative of this somewhere? That's where it comes into play. You're like, oh, not the derivative, the integral. Do you see this as an integral somewhere? What's the answer? It actually has an answer. It is negative cosecant x plus c. That will come with practice. You have to spot things, change them so they look like them, and then bam, your answer is real simple. Okay? Kind of weird, but you have to know your derivative, your uh, integral properties of trig.